हेलो नमस्ते वेलकम टू ग्री टेरो सो हाव यू गाइज डूइंग आई होप यूर डूइंग गुड आई होप यूर हैविंग एन अमेजिंग डे टू डे सो इफ यू न्यू हियर इफ यू लाइक माई कॉन्सेंट प्लीज सपोर्ट माई चैनल इफ़ यू हैव ऑलरेडी सपोर्टेड मी थैंक यू सो वेरी मच फॉर ऑल द लव एंड द सपोर्ट गाइज मीन्स अलॉट टू मी थैंक यू सो वेरी मच इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स आई हैव माई इंस्टाग्राम पेज लिंक इफ यू वॉन्ट टू फॉलो मी देर गो हैंड गिव इट अ फॉलो एंड द रेक्स दर आई यूज इन दिस रीडिंग विल ऑल्सो बी लिस्टेड इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स फिलो ओके सो द टॉपिक फॉर टूडे इज वॉट इज गॉड प्लानिंग फॉर यू नेक्स्ट सो दैट इज द टॉपिक वॉट गॉड प्लान फॉर यू ओके सो एज यू कैन सी आई हैव केप्ट थ्री ग्रुप्स फॉर यू गाइज आई हैव केप्ट रूम्स एज वेल टू चूज फ्रॉम एंड इमेजेस यू कैन गो you know there are a lot of uh, animals in the cards you can go by the animals maybe you're seeing a lot these animals a lot so that can be a sign for some of you so just choose intuitively okay so for group number 1 we have the yera rune okay this is the yera rune with chamomile in a piece with number 9 for group number 2 we have this evas rune with mother word strength and we have algis rune with mugwort psychic healing so close your eyes relax and take your time and that then choose a image uh, that calls to intuitively or a rune that calls to intuitively and then choose, uh, then go to the description box and the time stamps will be there okay and remember these are general readings so take what resonates and leave the rest behind guys and these are timeless readings as well so whenever you watch this reading my time a message for you so i'm going to start with group number 1 hello namaste group number 1 if you have chosen the year or rune let's see what is god planning for you next and you have chosen the inner peace with number 9 uh chamomile okay so i feel like chamomile tea relaxes you maybe for some of you um uh before going to bed having a chamomile tea or a uh, morning if you can have that it will be good for you guys maybe that's one thing i'm seeing here okay and the rune is yera rune yera rune is the rune of harvest like when we are getting um harvest of the past effort so this is the time of harvest that's what spirit is telling you so maybe for some of you you need to relax right now with this chamomile be very gentle uh like the dear for me dear is a mother it it represents a motherly energy the gentleness the unconditional love so maybe for some of you this is the time to pour that unconditional love towards you to be more compassionate towards you or others as well maybe for some of you you are projecting your fears um into other people so be very aware of it so as you are taking care of yourself as you are becoming more gentle to yourself you will see that you will be gentle to other people as well so the more we criticize ourselves that is when we start criticizing other people as well so it's time to be more gentle with yourself and look she is sleeping <laughs> she she has no worry right so she is very peaceful so right now you need to get into this energy of peace and understand with this rune as well life is full of seasons there is winter season there is spring season there is summer season every season is not the same every season has its benefits has its uh, problems as well right so for you guys uh, for you guys here spirit is reminding you that every time it's not going be the time of decrease there will be a time of increase as well so yes you are getting there uh, the next thing is like you are getting into a stage where you will see the increase in knowledge increase in abundance increase in a uh, love so for you guys you need to get into that energy of love that's what i'm getting here okay so if you have kids around i feel like giving them a lot of love will be very good for you guys as you give them love you will feel very loved from them as well because kids are so innocent so that something is there as well and again the sun is rising here again the morning is coming the morning is there after the night the morning comes so after this decrease there is this increase as well you will be able to reap your rewards so your hard work is not going to go waste even if you are not feeling right now relax cultivate more inner peace um what things that do you you know you do brings a lot of inner peace maybe having uh, 10 to 15 minutes for yourself and enjoying that tea brings you inner peace do that maybe sleeping brings uh, maybe sleeping makes you happy maybe do that more now you need that sleep so do that as well okay so 
but be very cautious because I feel like there is a chance of you projecting your fears onto other people. Don't do that, okay? And whatever you're overthinking is not going to manifest here because your hard, you know, hard work is definitely going to pay off. So relax. That's what the message is. And again, we have the sun and the moon, right? Uh, so um, sh expressing yourself, sharing your feelings with other people, sharing your emotions, not your fear. Right? Sometimes we don't say what, what we are fearful of, rather we project that. Instead of doing that, why not communicate what your fear is? Maybe the other person will help you with your fear, right? So that's what I'm getting. Sometimes when we get fearful, we, we get angry, we do things that uh, we shouldn't do, right? We, sometimes because of our uh, fear, we try to overprotect as well. Yeah, sometimes we do that. Maybe our kids, we try to overprotect because of our own fear. We project that fear onto our kids. So instead of doing that, why not have a communication, like communicate with your kids, like why I'm feeling like that. Maybe your kids will say something that will, that will actually give you enough peace. Who knows, right? So do that. That's what I'm getting here. <clears throat> so let's see. We have uh, air, spirit, knowledge. I'm getting the uh, image of Saraswati goddess. She's the goddess of creativity, I feel like education as well. So maybe for some of you, if you are worried about something related to your education or your kids' education, everything is going to be good. Maybe you want your kids to travel abroad for a education program or maybe you want to travel. Uh, maybe something, someone around, in your, uh, around your family wants to do that. It's all possible right now, okay? Uh, for some of you, it's yours. Uh, maybe you are planning to go into a different university for education. Yes, it's going to happen for you guys. For others, it's the knowledge. Uh, there is a lot of knowledge and awareness that you will be given that you don't have right now. And that is going to be your one of the best blessings that you will receive in the coming time. Okay, your when we have knowledge, we have awareness. We are not ignorant anymore. So we don't repeat the same mistakes that we used to repeat in the past because now we have the knowledge. And that's what exactly is happening for you guys. Now you have the knowledge. So in the past, maybe you used to be fearful of something. Now you're not because you have the knowledge. Why you don't have to be fearing of that thing anymore. So there is a lot of awareness, knowledge, and that is going to change the way you th look at things. And that, that is going to the going to be the best thing that is going to happen to you guys in the near future. I feel like that. It can be the knowledge regarding someone in your life. It can be knowledge regarding your own skills, your own passion, or maybe it's the knowledge how you are projecting your fears into other people, how how things are, you know, maybe for some of you things get, you get triggered very quickly and you're understanding why you are getting triggered. So you can change that. You can release that thing, right? So that's what I'm getting here. And again, for many of you, if you are feeling very, very creatively blocked, you will be unblocked. There is a lot of creativity that is coming, okay, for you guys. But right now, be in the energy of rest. Uh, cultivate that inner calmness. The more you cultivate the inner calmness, the more you're gentle with yourself, the more you are going to express yourself and the more you will be productive as well and the more you will be creative as well so sometimes we feel like uh, uh, when we are thinking a lot we will function better no when we think a lot we don't function better so right now if you can take a two-day break it will be very good for you guys just don't do anything just relax yeah sometimes we have responsibilities but make make time for yourself uh, for drinking a tea in peace uh, for it, uh, half an hour meditation or half an hour walking, just make time for yourself. Very necessary. Okay? Yeah. And again, the number one and the number nine. So here, number nine is uh, denoting an end of a cycle here for you, for you guys. So maybe for some of you, mastering a skill. You're becoming the masters. And when we are in this stage, when we are, a, when we are experienced, um, that time a uh, block comes. <laughs> I feel like that kind of a blog where you know everything, but at the same time, you're feeling very blocked. So here spirit is telling you to go back to the beginner stage. When you started, how you used to feel, how you used to think like that, do it, do that work. It will be very beneficial for you guys. Yeah. For example, a person who's a choreographer and um, they started choreographing and then they, there comes a point that they don't know how to choreograph at that time. 
when you started choreographing how you used to think what you used to do do more of that it will be very helpful okay <coughs> okay yeah and the number one a new beginning so something some sort of knowledge is going to be given to you guys that's for sure and this is going to change a lot in your life maybe for some of you this knowledge is going to bring a lot of inner peace so god is definitely going to give you some sort of information or some sort of knowledge that is going to bring a lot of inner peace and yes the seasons you know if you are going through a hard time that season is also going to end and uh, a season of fruition a season of harvest is coming okay we have the six of cups memories from your history or childhood issues regarding children romant romanticizing the past okay so get out of the past if you're thinking too much about your past it's time to get out of your past because there is nothing in your past right <coughs> past has been finished now is the time to focus on the present so you can create a wonderful future for yourself okay so maybe for some of you are thinking i did this in past they didn't work out uh, let it go right now so you know maybe if you think about your past if it's not giving you inner peace it's time to release that thing so for some of you you are understanding why you get triggered it's because if your past some some issues are going to come up and you will understand what is triggering you and you will be able to heal it you know when we recognize the pattern then only we are going to heal it so sometimes we don't even recognize wh why we are doing that why are we are continuing continuing the same old behavior right so here you are going to understand that and you will be releasing it okay <laughs> again children something with children um if your children uh, you know if you're wishing for your children's progress that's i feel like that's going to happen for some of you it can be a pregnancy as well i'm getting here um marriage marriage of your children so for some of you it's your marriage of your children or something like that or as children's graduation is going to happen you will be very proud of it something like that is there okay don't worry about them then we have night of air again we have you are moving forward from your past that's what i'm getting here you are not going to be stuck in your past because you are understanding why <coughs> something triggered you it was because of this past issue i feel like some sort of past issues that is going to come into light and you will be healing it and you're going to make peace with it and you're going to move forward okay this kind of issues that you had in your past is not going to come again and again and again and again in your future okay so let me just drink of the uh, water okay yes that's something i'm seeing here <laughs> okay yeah you're more intelligent now than you were before in your past you are more decisive you make better decisions now that's what a god is telling you so you don't have to worry about the past mistakes that you made in your past you're not going to repeat it because you're so much more intelligent so much more wise um you're a good decision maker now and you have lot of ideas you have lot of creative solutions so i feel like for some of you if you're if you have some sort of issues relax rest because at that time is where you receive the creative solutions okay there is solutions to everything and if you are going through a problem calm be gentle with yourself because the solutions will come you will understand what you need to do the knowledge will be given to you guys that's what spirit is telling you some sort of knowledge some sort of awareness is definitely coming your way for some of you there is some sort of uh, travel regarding uh, your you know for some of you for your education you might travel if you're preparing that that's quite possible for you guys for others it is that your knowledge your wisdom is traveling around the world maybe through videos or something like that is also there but here you are healing from your past this past thing is not going to affect you in your future you are healing it you have ended that pattern with this nine number this is a new beginning for you guys okay yeah we have ace of, uh, ace of swords so again clarity is there for you guys the one thing that spirit is uh, god is planning for you guys to give us clarity your answers will be clear or why this is happening again uh, your third eye might be open as well okay i have to say uh, spirit uh, you know god is telling you you're much more intelligent much more wise than before so you don't have to worry you will be making the best decision for yourself and others as well if someone it is dependent on you okay in your life you are going to make best decisions for them maybe for some of you are worried about it you are not worried about making your own decisions but when you are making decisions for other people you are like what if my decision is wrong for them right what if uh, they suffer because of my decision don't worry you are going to make the best decision okay and uh, with this consciousness 
be very aware okay about around your surroundings here spirit is telling you because you are going to be presented with signs synchronicities that will give you clarity like you will know something you will be very clear about it and you then you will see the signs as confirmations that yes you are on the right path you have made the right decision so it's like uh, <clears throat> listen more like when we are in the present moment when we are just focusing on the present moment we can hear clearly we can see clearly that's what spirit is telling and when you do that you will understand what you need to do so this knowledge is going to be given to you guys and this knowledge is your gift okay you are not going to be ignorant anymore <laughs> that's something i'm seeing here again look turning in that's what you need to do making time for yourself again look at the positions of these two cards like they are closing their eyes and this look at the doubts the fears the insecurity they're not they're not listening to them they're listening to their inner voice they're listening to the higher higher voice like higher calling like higher power they're listening to that they're listening to god right and that's why they are very clear they are making the best decisions for themselves so turning in is what you need to do as you turn in you will be given the knowledge that will be helpful for you guys in your endeavors and again creativity so if you are someone who is feeling a little bit blocked again if you look at these two cards one thing is similar is the position right they are like asking for spirit's guidance and they're getting the guidance and she's also asking like the guidance and she's getting the guidance i feel like that you're going to get the guidance if you ask for it so if something is troubling you right now if you don't have a solution to certain problems that you're facing right now spirit is telling you that is not going to be the permanent situ situation first thing and the second thing is they are telling you to ask 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 and if you have asked but if you are maybe for some of you have asked from spirit but you're not turning in right you're not clearing your mind you're always thinking about the problem that's not what you need to do so just ask for it and then calm do something like for some of you turning in should be like you have asked now just wait you will get the answers and while you're waiting just do something that is gentle gentle right having a cup of tea doing something that makes you happy taking care of your well-being taking uh taking uh you know doing something that is that gives you a lot of comfort right me eating some sort of comfort food being being in this relaxing mood will give you the answers so be in this relaxing mood right be in this receptive energy if you are always on the go 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 you are not allowing the messages to come through and even if the messages you know even if you see the signs even if you uh, receive the messages you are not able to interpret interpret it because you are always thinking about it thinking about the problems so rather stop thinking about your problems come into this receptive mode and as you are in this receptive mode you will be feel, feel you will be feeling like you're very connected to the spirit and the answers that you need will be coming very very easily to you guys for some of your ideas again with this empress empress energy ideas again harvest is there you know if the empress we have this creativity this is the empress in this deck right this is ace of swords and this is four of cups and we have the era rune as well so whatever you have done in your past you are going to reap the benefits for some of you uh, uh the knowledge can be the benefit for you guys and when we have the knowledge you know we can conquer anything knowledge has so much power right and this knowledge is what you are receiving so be open to that knowledge trust it and if you are getting new idea trust it take action in this night of air as well so you are getting clarity no more no more fogginess that's what spirit is telling you you will be very clear so trust it okay we have temperance again you need to find the balance here uh some sort of imbalance i can sense from you guys because it can be about uh, you overthinking and sometimes because of overthinking we are not able to function properly we are not feeling balanced so taking up yoga if you if you feel like you can need to take up a yoga do that that will balance you relax you maybe doing stretching exercises will help you drinking tea chamomile tea if you have that or maybe regular tea um but you need to relax i feel like the spine is not relaxed and as you relax you're going to not project your fears on anyone you are not going to get triggered because you will have the knowledge and awareness so balance yourself and again we have two major arcana cards arcana cards here that is uh, the empress energy and the temperance 
and these two are beautiful cards to get right and spirit is telling you whatever you have sown you will be reaping it but if you are in doubt if you are feeling chaotic if you don't have your answers balance find balance archangel michael is with you okay he is protecting you so don't be afraid to rest don't be afraid uh, afraid to to take time out for yourself everything will work out okay sometimes we feel like we have to overdo things then only things will happen for us no sometimes we need to relax and exactly you need to relax right now so that the information that is coming to you you can receive it right and six of pentacles yes you know there is balance again the number 6 came out twice for you guys maybe you are life path number 6 or maybe you have your personal number this year is number 6 okay <laughs> it can be the thing and again six also is um, what you again we have the six of water and six of pentacles so what you have given in your past you know the hard work that you have done it's actually going to reap don't worry you will reap the rewards it's like for some of you it's like if you have studied hard in the past the knowledge is not going to go anywhere the knowledge stays with you and you will be able to reap because of this knowledge so don't worry that's what spirit is telling there is balance coming here balance again temperance and six of pentacles balance is there so if you are feeling a little bit chaotic in your relationship maybe relationship with yourself relationship with your kids if something is imbalanced it's going to be balanced for you guys because you're getting your answers you're getting your clear answers so next spirit is planning to give you all the answers you know for some of you it's like your answers are within you all you need to do is to tap in okay and as you tap in as you relax your mind as you calm your mind the answers are going to given be given to you guys for some of you it's about your education if there is something that you want to uh, do that is definitely going to be possible for you guys for some of you there is a relocation something like that maybe for some of you are going to relocate somewhere um, where you have spent your childhood if you want to do that that is also possible but there is a lot of clarity that is going to be given to you guys and you're not going to be feeling like indecisive anymore so a decision you will be making a decision and you will be very proud of it i feel like that <clears throat> we have aquamarine crystal again this talks about clarity here you will be very clear on what you need to do what you want to do what kind of course you want to take what you need to do in your career what how what kind of people you want in your life what kind of relationship you want to attract you will be very clear of it and that's what you will be attracting as well so just calm your mind right now okay and again the number 7 number 7 is something related with your education as well higher learning i'm seeing here for some of you if you are a uh, feeling or you're guided to do some sort of higher learning the doors are going to be open for you guys because we have the gate as well opportunities and home so maybe for some of you relocation is definitely possible maybe for some of you relocating to a place where you have grown up and you're finding something about yourself and you will be sure sure of what you need to continue so maybe you will be continuing doing something that you used to enjoy doing in your childhood days okay again the gate is opening up right so some for some of you it, it is a old home that you are renovating yeah uh, maybe it's it's a closet that you haven't opened maybe you had the art supplies for long you know sometimes we keep something in our cupboards and then we don't use it and it hasn't been open for very long time i feel like you will be opening that that thing and as you open it as you as you work on that craft that you used to do in your childhood day, days it will actually bring a lot of peace as well and with peace you will receive your answers as well so the answers are coming the hard work is paying off that's what god is planning for you guys next and then when you will get the answers you know what you need to do next for some of you higher studies higher learning for some of you creativity is there for some of you you are going to release what's not needed if the fears that you don't need you will be very clear about what kind of fears you have what triggers you and you're releasing it and as you release it you will be finding yourself in a, a place where you are feeling very calm feeling very rejuvenated and when our inside is rejuvenated when our when our inside is feeling peaceful then nothing outside can trigger us anymore and that's what exactly is happening for you guys group number 1 so there is definitely opportunities for you guys in studies for some of you relocating and moving to a different place for uh, developing your craft or something like that is also there but definitely you will be rewarded okay that's all bye bye take care
So group number two, if you have chosen the Eva's rune, let's see. This is the beautiful card. You have chosen Mother Wood with strength with number 13 and 13 reduces to number 4. Okay, so with this Eva's rune, I feel like um, you are, you are, you know, the, what is God planning for you guys next is a team. I really feel like you're going to meet the people who you will be working with and when we work with the right people, we thrive and that's what exactly is going to happen for you guys, okay? Like uh, the horse and the rider, they have, uh, you know, when the horse and rider are in sync, that's when magic happens, right? Like that only, you are going to be in sync with the people you work. So I'm getting a very strong community <laughs> very strong friendship even if they are not your family even if they are not your friends yet your even if it's your even if it's just your team you are going to make a very solid connection with them interestingly you can see three people hands in hands walking together right so that's what exactly is happening for you guys okay uh, you are going to meet your people that's what God is planning for you next. The people who will make your heart very open. You will see, see how strong you are. These people are going to show you the authentic you you are. That's what I'm getting here. And again, the line look is relying, right? So these people rely on you. These people uh, depend on you. These people believe in you, trust in you, right? It's like, uh, it's that energy I'm getting here where you can also do the exact opposite with them, right? <laughs> like as the rider, <sighs> rider, you know, when they're riding the horse, they, they trust the horse, right? And the horse trusts the rider, <laughs> right? Like that. And that's how they are the strong team. And exactly that's what I feel for you guys. You're meeting the people who are your family, who are your tribe. And by working with them, you are going to find your own strength, how strong you are, how much, how much gifts you ha have, right? It's like you are understanding you by the, by these, through these people. Something good in you is coming out because uh, you, as you work with these people, I feel like that. So yes, the one thing I'm seeing here for you guys, uh, God, uh, what is God planning for you guys is good, good people, good support system where you will be finding you. You will be finding your own strength. You will be finding how courageous you are. You will be finding what your heart is telling you, right? Yeah. It's like good people. Oh wow, that's beautiful. As I told, a team where you both can rely on each other, like the horse and the driver <laughs> who rides the horse. But if there is just discord, it will not go smoothly, right? So here, that's what it is. Maybe in your life, you might have struggled with people communicating your feelings. I feel like now spirit is bringing, God is bringing, the kind of people who you can rely rely on, who will give you the strength you need and you will give the strength they need and you're going to walk hand in hand. So there is a lot of uh, good people surrounding you. That's what I'm getting here. That's what God is planning for you guys. <sighs> Again, the word strength. Oh God. Again, the number two balance here. Number four, number two, for some of you, this is like you're finding a partner or a friend who will make you understand your strength or you will make and you know like both of them are, may, are making understand each other like what are your strength who you are as a person sometimes they might trigger you but you will understand why i'm getting triggered you are going to understand your own strength how strong you are you're like an oak tree right that's the energy i'm getting here some sort of treasures that you have inside of you uh, are going to be coming out you know, sometimes because of the environment, because we are not in a healthy environment, what happens is the gifts that we have doesn't come out. The strength we have doesn't come out. We live in constant fear. Now, as the surroundings are changing, as the people around you are changing, you are understanding your own strength. This can be like, uh, may maybe, maybe the surroundings hasn't changed, but you're meeting this new person and you're communicating with them 
and by while while you're communicating with them and while you are having a solid relationship with them you are understanding your own strength and when we understand our own strength we can let go of what we don't need in our life right sometimes we hold on to things because of our fear and as you are cultivating strength in your life as you are understanding your own strength your own heart how powerful you are it's like you are un- <laughs> you are feeling that you are courageous that is where you're going here okay group number 2 maybe you are the people who have always felt that you have to be dependent on other people you cannot rely on yourself you cannot be independent that's all changing that's all changing you are going to be in this energy of uh, the lion right you're becoming the king of the jungle you're not the herd you're not going to be in the herd of the sheep you know herd of sheep right it's like there is a story where uh, a lion was in the uh, in the herd of sheep and because they everyone told that it's also a sheep so it acted like a sheep in the form of a lion and then a, another lion came and told them told uh, this lion that you're a lion you're not a sheep so get out of it so it's because how we are conditioned by the society right we are conditioned like we have to go this way we have to follow these rules and we continue doing it because of our society and now now what is happening is like you're meeting this person and they're showing you your authentic self that's what is happening you're understanding yourself more you're understanding how confident uh, you are how much skills you have but sometimes we live in an environment with so many beliefs uh, and so many limited beliefs that we don't find ourselves it's like you're going to find yourself next it's it's going to be quite a journey and i'm sure there will be challenges you will be challenged but you will be enjoying it the outcome will be so beautiful yeah you are getting out of this nine of nine of air three of fire <coughs> yes that's what exactly i'm feeling like if you are someone who is dealing with lot of stress men you know mentally if you are feeling very blocked spirit is taking you out of this and now you are going to be in this three of fire energy where you are planning your life like i want my life like this so i'm going to prepare i'm going to visualize my life like this i'm not going to visualize something that i don't want right i'm not going to be in this loop of negative thinking no i'm going to get out of it and it requires lot of strength but I, but the strength was there always but i didn't meet the right people i didn't get the right knowledge but now i am getting it so i can get out of this thing right and now i am going to plan a future that i want for myself and i know it will take time so i'll be patient and i'm going to write down exactly what i want and i'm going to plan accordingly and work towards it that's what you're going to do and it definitely you will be understanding how courageous you are as a person in this thing so you are coming out of something that was not fulfilling you that was troubling you and it will take a lot of strength but it's a good thing right you are understanding your own strength and as you move forward in this journey you will be realizing so much about yourself that you haven't realized in the past 20 years 30 years 40 years yes that's what it is it's a huge transformation group number 2 uh, i have to say where you are realizing your own strength it's like a, again we have this you trust and all i'm feeling like this is the new you you are you are being re- you're going through a rebirth yes <clears throat> oh look we have the death card yes this has to come out this is a major major changes happening for you guys in your environment the people you resonate with are not going to be there you know the past people are not going to, to be there new people are coming the people who will make you understand who you are you can rely on these people a very good community who will support you you know maybe you have been with people who always used to put you down try to control you try to manipulate you block you from your success these people are out of your life so if something is falling apart don't worry because it's for your own good group number 2 yes at that time you will feel why this is happening but after you will know how powerful you are how much people have controlled you manipulated you and and the things that you were holding on to were not worth it and now you are coming i feel like for some of you you might you might, you are already going through this transformation so for some of you this is going to be like you have been uh, going through a depressing period in your life you're going to be out of it it requires a lot of mental strength right 
so this is ending a new chapter is beginning for you guys that's what is that the again again the strength card three times yes yes you are going to come out right again you even though this is this is rock this flower is shining bright so no environment no toxic people can stop you now from your growth because now you have started believing in yourself wow oh my god this is a um, insight change that is happening you're realizing your strength you're cultivating more confidence and you're going to stand up for yourself you're not going to be always sacrificing or always in fear no you are going to say the word no i feel like that yeah again playfulness now you want to enjoy life now you are understanding that as i enjoy life life will be enjoyable right so you're getting into this playful energy i feel like some of you are healing your inner child you're going to do something that you used to enjoy during your inner child you know in the, sorry uh, enjoy during your childhood uh, days maybe because of other people you stopped it right it always happens so many people have stopped doing something that you, they used to enjoy because our parents didn't believe in it right and they thought that it's not good it's not stable so we stopped doing it but here i see you continue continuing with that for some of you when you were young you lost that innocence because of certain people in your life and that innocence is exactly coming back yeah you know when we are courageous when we are strong we are not on guard always we are not walking on eggshells anymore you are not going to do that so if this pile was walking on eggshells around a person or you know maybe you were in constant fear that is what is going to be released and you're going in an energy where you will live life to the fullest you will enjoy life that's where you're going you will be passionate about something you'll be enjoying it to the core and Uh, not worrying about what others will say what other how others will value you you're just getting out of it and that requires courage strength it's like you are uh, you know the inner you know the some, sometimes it's our own demons in our head you are fighting with them and you are having the victory it's like for some of you some of you are fighting your own depression and you're feeling victorious now you're strong now you're not getting back there you're not your demons will you know sometimes it's our inner demons they don't have any control over us anymore so yes for some of you if you're going through a period of depression you will be out of it and you're going to start enjoy life again and again like you're going to enjoy life again and again something with that as well why i said that so you know for some of you again and again something might have happened again and again in your life that's what is ending you are you are putting a stop to it i feel like that by being more courageous by standing up for yourself by saying no you're putting an end to it it can be a person in our life yeah maybe because of this person we get depressed and then when we are out of it they come again and then make us feel like shit again maybe this was a cycle that was going on in our life and now you are like this has been happening again and again and again now i'm putting a stop to it now i'm not going anyone come and <laughs> come and stop my progress right now i'm out of this this thing now i'm going to be with the people who will give me what i deserve otherwise i don't want them like that is the energy you're getting into and here spirit is definitely protecting you and helping you guys yes this is a new beginning a new start rebirth for some of you this is something that you will be doing new something new if you are planning maybe you are planning something in your head uh, for quite a while i feel like there is there is a, a new start happening for you guys this is a new beginning this is a new you with full of passion it's like a person who didn't want to leave now they are finding the courage and now they are so excited for life that's what it is yeah So yes a uh, very hard toxic cycle is ending this is a new beginning where the sun is shining bright no more gloomy days <laughs> yes seven of cups right now lot of opportunities are coming your way so keep on planning keep on visualizing 
if you have a pa passion if you have an idea start doing it because you will be receiving a lot of opportunities uh, it's like a person who is an artist they uh, they create a lot of pieces now other companies want to collaborate with them <laughs> right that is the energy i'm getting here a lot of people want want to work with you because your ideas are, are awesome and you're finding the people who will actually like the people who will bring the best in you yeah that's what is happening here yeah edgerine again number 1 it's like number 1 it's a new beginning we have ace of wands as well and we have the transformation death card this is the death card so a youth cycle a painful cycle has ended it has been very painful for sure whenever the death card comes like it's painful it's really painful but we have learned a lot from that and now we are not there now we are in a happy place right we are in a place where we are feeling courageous we are confident in ourselves it can be like a huge disappointment you have gone through a huge disappointment now you are stepping back again into your uh, strength and you are seeing small progresses and as you smell see small progress you're going to move forward right the small small victories are coming your way and as uh, after small victories comes the big victory right and here with this crystal this is the time to say no to the things that you don't want to do this is the time to be authentic yes i feel like that's what is coming here you're becoming more authentic to yourself you're only doing something that makes you feel happy you're saying no more you're standing up for yourself your integrity is very important for you guys now in the past in relationship with people you wanted relationship with people so you compromised on your in integrity right and you know when we compromise on our our in integrity we feel broken we don't feel good at all then we do it again and again and again we broke ourselves we broke our heart and you have done it now you are going to be in a phase in a life in your life where you will be saying no to something that you don't want to do you're only going to do what makes you happy i feel like there is a lot of tears as well as you are going to build you know it's like you're building up yourself again your strength your courage uh, because of because of other people you might have lost yourself you know sometimes we lose ourselves because of other people and then we feel like we are powerless then we start doing that we start doing that negative self talk and we compromise we people please right you have done it all group number 2 and now you're out of it right and yes you're not going to come back to that because now you know who you are now you know your strength because three times the strength card came out it's like you can tame the lion you can tame the inner demons inside of you now these demons are not going to our overpower you these thoughts are not going to our overpower you because you have fought it now you know who you are right now no one can manipulate you you're getting into that place <laughs> luck and money wow luck money yes again your finances are going to be going good there is upgrade there <laughs> money wise there is a lot of upgrade for you guys again look you have a lot of opportunities so maybe for some of you you are quitting your job that was very toxic you know sometimes in our job we lose our own integrity maybe for some of you have gone through that now you're going to work on something that you want something that you want to grow something that makes you so passionate and and because you are so passionate about it because you know that you are very good at it lot of opportunities are going to be poured to you guys and uh, and again when we got the opportunities we got we get money as well right so that's what the energy is so i see a person who is quitting a toxic job toxic people toxic environment then they are giving themselves some time to re establish themselves maybe they have some sort of childhood hobbies they are working towards it and as they work towards it maybe they are starting an instagram page and they are showing it to people and people are liking it loving it and then because of it your views are up as <laughs> just an example guys and then more more companies want to work with you that's the energy and you are you are you are, and again you're not saying yes to every opportunity you're only taking the opportunity that suits you that makes you happy that is in alignment with your integrity right so yes that's the message wow huge upgrade i feel like that 
you, this is a rebirth yeah so if you're going through a depressing time you're going to come out of it as a warrior it's like you're fighting a battle with your own demons you know sometimes it's inside of our head we compromise we compromise and now we are like no i don't want to compromise anymore i'm getting out of it yeah and you're getting out of it that's what i feel so that's all i have for group number 2 hope it made sense hope it resonated if it did give me a thumbs up uh, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already in the description box i have my instagram page link if you want to follow me there go ahead and give it a follow and the text that i used in this reading will also be listed so take care guys uh, take care guys i'm sorry <laughs> bye bye group number 3 if you have chosen this rune of algis let's see what is the message for you guys um so algis rune is a rune of protection so you're very very protected so maybe for some of you right now something has been rejected or you're feeling like like things are not happening the way you want it to happen so don't worry it's just not the right time yet is just spirit protecting you is just god protecting you and here i feel like the first message the main message for you guys you need to know what's happening for you guys next is that everything is going to be okay God is telling you everything is going to be okay everything will be fine everything will be okay don't worry be happy okay you're protected you're safe and if you have gone through some sort of rejection is just a form of protection okay so don't worry now we have the number 10 with mug worth psychic healing right so you're healing so maybe for some of you when the healing happens sometimes we don't even realize that we are healing so that's what is uh, is uh, happening for you guys you're not seeing any movement any progression in your life maybe right now but here god is telling everything is happening behind the scenes and you will understand it later so right now relax right now uh, work on yourself right now um try to upgrade your uh, psychic senses try to work on your spiritual gifts because i feel for group number 3 you are very very uh, very very spiritual right you're a spiritual person so right now uh, try to do exercises that build up your intuition try to work with mother uh, moon mother right uh, work with luna luna energies right work with the energies of the moon uh, staring at uh, staring at the moon at night or meditation even if you don't like meditations do the small small task that gives you happiness or just center yourself for 5 minutes or 10 minutes or do a lot of affirmations that's all you need to do right now so come back to yourself come back to yourself for some of you this is a time where you need to uh need to be a little bit in hermit energy so you can understand more about yourself so yeah don't try to overdo anything don't try to force if you're not feeling good take rest that's what it is but just um just work on your psychic senses okay uh, be more observant because there is a lot of signs and synchronicity a lot of omens you will be uh, shown in the coming days okay again with this white towel i feel like that it's like uh, you're going through a stage like when our body needs healing we need to rest right so for you guys also need a little bit of break rest relax everything is fine and again your dreams again we have the moon and the neptune your intuition keep on building your intuition because your intuition is actually going to give you the information you need at the correct time it will protect you so trust your instincts so keep on building doing intuition um, you know i feel like uh, for some of you doing that there are certain uh, videos where you will you will see where you can test your intuition <laughs> do that kind of exercises it will be very helpful okay so that's what i'm getting here and again the number 10 completion of a cycle <laughs> don't worry things are going to move forward only so maybe for some of you feeling like you're coming backwards or something like that is there don't worry you're protected everything is safe yeah yeah again you know refuge right now seek refuge refuge in divine if things are not working out if you have no you know sometimes when things are not working out in our favor we don't have control over anything what we have control over is ourselves so seek that refuge in divine ask for guidance from divine pray meditate yeah that's all you need to do right now that's what god is telling you so if you're confused if you're stressing if you're worried if you're in fear re- seek refuge in divine just pray meditate walk in nature and as you do it you will see that your intuition is building up and the answers that you need will be given to you guys so 
be happy right now in the present moment yes this is might be some challenge you know maybe for some of you are going through a challenging period because you're feeling very fearful so seek that refuge in divine okay so that's what the message is <sighs> wow we have the 10 of air again you know so for some of you this uh, this thing is going to change whatever you're going through right now it's going to, is a very difficult situation and here again the number 10 and 10 you are going to get out of this difficult situation uh, so trusting more in spirit building your intuition trusting having faith and spirit in god that's all you need to do right now and you are getting you will get out of this situation that is not favorful you know favorful <laughs> favorable okay this is not but it's not even favorable it's, it doesn't have a good flavor yeah maybe that's what it is so it's not tasty enough it's not good enough you're not feeling it you're not liking right now so you will be out of this situation if it's a conflicting situation maybe a lot of chaos is there a lot of thinking is there you know you're overthinking that's why this overthinking is not going to help you that's why seek refuge in divine that's it. Ask for guidance from divine and trust divine. Trust divine, guys. That's it. Oh, wow. We have page of water. Again, intuitive, sensitive, artistic, friendly. So for some of you, uh, as you seek that um, refuge in divine, as you pray, as you meditate, you will see that your intuitive abilities are strengthening. It's upgrading. And that's very good. For some of you, as you seek that refuge in divine, you will feel very creative. Creative solutions will be coming out. For others, it's like a new person is coming to help you with something. They will give you some ideas that will be very helpful for you guys. <coughs> if you have, if you're facing dif difficulties with a younger person, give that issues to divine because it will resolve. Okay. Of you, I feel like a challenging situation is happening with your kids or with a family member who is younger. Don't worry right now. You don't have to force. You don't have to force anything. Just seek that refuge in divine. That's the main message. As you seek refuge in divine, as you trust, everything will flow. And and the good thing is like, you know, when you're meditating, when you're praying, when you're trusting, your intuition is also going to be getting better. You're very intuitive. You're a very spiritual person. And it's just sometimes in life, you know, things happen. But then we feel why we had to go through it. But something good comes out of it. What is the good thing? It's the lesson. Now we know what we don't have to repeat. So don't worry. So don't worry here. I feel like the worry, worry you need to take out. Take out. As, you, as you decrease the worry, you will see that you are more in touch with divine and you are getting all the answers and you will get the solutions. And as you work on those solutions, you will see improvement as well. Okay? Yeah. Then we, yeah, again, eight of swords energy. So some of you are really gu guilty of something. You might, you might have done something that you're guilty of, or maybe you are overstressing about it. You're feeling like you're, you're not going to get out of this ten of air energy, like this chaos, this conflict. No, that's not true. So get out of your head, guys. Get out of this overthinking and seek refuge in divine. That's all you need to do. Uh, this is the ma main message for you guys right now. Okay, because the more you feel like this. In this energy the more you will struggle the more you will feel fearful and is it good for your health no it's not good for your mental health it's not good for your physical health the stress is never good for our physical health isn't it so get out of it and seek that refuge in divine this, this is the main message group number three for you guys right now yeah and as you do it as you seek refuge in divine the doors are going to be open for you guys and again we have the snake eating its tail so what you're going to feed that is only going to come out Okay, so what you're feeding yourself? If you're feeding yourself with fear, with hopelessness, uh, with, with full of uh, overthinking, you will be getting more of it. But if you are like uh, seeking the refuge in divine, you're praying, you're faithful, uh, you're trusting your intuition, you're believing that everything will be all right, then you will see more improvements in your life. Things will flower, things will flower, right? Again, look at the flowers. You will see new, you will see new doors opening opening you will see a lot of creative solutions that's how it is the more we are in this energy we are not able to see different options because we are stick to one thing right sorry uh, with my voice uh, uh, that's why I had to um, I'm, I'm fine but you know sometimes the cough is there that's why I've been taking a lot of breaks I've been resting so 
<laughs> don't worry i'm fine anyways if you are uh, if you are not feeling good about your health also take rest just take rest don't think about anything when you uh, when you will be healthy and all because you will be so let go of that fear okay only that fear that guilt whatever you have you have to release right now and seek that refuge and as you seek a refuge doors are going to open for you guys that's what i feel like <clears throat> the lovers it can be about a relationship that you're thinking or maybe a decision that you made in the past uh, you are thinking whether this is right for me, wrong for me. Uh, I should I have done that? Maybe some of you, some for some of you, it's your own <coughs> habits that you're questioning. I did that. I said that. Maybe there is a lot of thinking, overthinking. Get rid of that overthinking. The more you are going to seek that refuge, the more best creative solutions you will find. And then we have Eight of Pentacles. Okay, yeah. Uh, so whatever work you're doing, work without worry work without guilt work without attachment to the results can you do that just work with trust work with faith work with hope so whatever your skills you're trying to develop do that whatever you're learning try to do it whatever work you have if you're very if you're a creative person trust your intuition trust your ideas work on it but work with hope and expect the best possible outcome but don't be so attached to the results okay so that's what i'm getting here for some of you it's about your work maybe you're very much stressed about your work right or maybe you are like you made a decision in your work and now you are worried whether i made the correct decision or not whether this work of mine will give me enough money or not like a lot of stress because you might have seen some sort of issues in your work it can be a work a work life it can be a relationship but this is something that you you have given your uh, time and effort okay so maybe something is not going the way you want and that's why there is a lot of stress a lot of uh, overthinking a lot of uh, thinking about past mistakes that's what you need to let go of it and seek the refuge the message is that only spirit is telling you to trust <laughs> yes selenite release all that all that fearful statements that you're saying to yourself release all that release all that fear that you're feeding on how you can release how can you release by trusting yourself more by praying more by seeking that refuge that's what it is so eliminate the negativity release the negativity we don't need it and that's exactly the message is talking about the more you focus on this thing the more you will see that things are not progressing the way you want the more you will see that what you don't want so as you release yourself from this negativity as you seek that refuge as you build up your intuition as you trust that divine has a plan for you and divine is going to make everything good you will see more of what you actually want right we have mountain yes maybe for some of you you are going through that challenging period right now it's like climbing a mountain and then you're out of breath then you have to go down it's like you're going up five steps and then coming back down and then you have to climb again 10 steps it's too much right but if you are trying to climb up with more worry then you will see that you are only going backward because you are not hoping that you know you're not you don't have that hope now whether you will reach that mountain top a person who who reaches the mountain top has hope they trust in themselves they know that divine will protect them and that's how they reach the mountain top and you also can reach the mountain top you can achieve whatever you want to achieve you will be able to come you will be able to overcome these challenges so you know what you need to do for that and yes you know sometimes in life things don't go the way we plan because there is something hidden in us that we need to uncover we need to discover right for you guys also it's not because you're not do you know so sometimes we feel like why what we are doing wrong why this is going this way it's only because you have to discover something you have to discover something and that's why spirit is telling you to seek refuge in them that's why spirit is telling you to trust in your intuitive abilities uh, strengthen your intuitive abilities Str um, work on intuitive abilities 
and as you do that you will strengthen your intuitive abilities and you will know so much more that you don't know right now you don't have all the answers right now but there is more to come there is something hidden that uh, yeah, for some of you this is a news that will coming uh, that will be coming and that will and that will allow you to climb the mountain and reach and achieve something that you want to achieve so don't worry there is achievement there is more understanding that is that is that will be given to you guys because right now you don't know why this is not working the way you want it to work because you have done so much work you you have been putting so much effort you have been uh, spending hours doing this but uh, right now you're not seeing um the results right but there is there is a reason for it but as you as you again i'm saying that that's the message strong message as you work with spirit as you trust spirit you will see uh see clearly what you're not seeing right now and you will be able to climb those challenges you will be able to move away from those challenges and reach the top of the mountain so eliminate what you don't need in your life decluttering is something i'm seeing here if you're too much on the fear based declutter that if there is someone else who is putting too much pressure on you maybe maybe for some time give some space to yourself isolate yourself just focus on the things that is important okay that's what you need to do right now so maybe for some of you being in the hermit energy if you are not right now for some of you you are already and if you're not maybe spending some quality time with yourself will give you a lot of peace and uh, it will allow you to strengthen your intuitive abilities as well so wait here spirit is telling you wait god is telling you wait be patient because actually everything is working out for you for your own good okay so don't worry the message is very clear don't worry everything will work out hmm that's the message bye bye take care